Hello friends, this video on Integers Part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now on similar lines, we will learn how to do subtraction of integers on number line. So now when we have to perform subtraction of integers, again we need to remember some simple tips. So the tips in this case now will be easier for you to understand. Now, when you are subtracting a positive number, where do you think you should move? Subtracting a positive number means you are actually removing positive habits from your life. So do you think removing positive habits from your life is a good thing? Removing the good habits from your life, is that a right thing? No, that's not the right thing to do. So in that case, you will definitely move towards left. So now let's take an example and see if this works. So let's say that you have a number, say 2. So from 2, if you are subtracting a positive number, let's say uh, minus 4. So what would be 2 minus 4? So where is 2? This is 2. So from 2, you are subtracting a negative number you are subtracting a positive number so you are going to move towards left so how many jumps towards left four jumps towards left one two three and four so where have you reached you have reached at minus two so that means the result would be minus two so if you are subtracting a positive number from a given number you should move towards left on the number line and just the opposite. So if you are subtracting the negative habits from your life, if you are removing the negative habits from your life, then that's the right thing to do. So for example, let's say that if, if it would have been 2 minus minus 4. So that means again you are at 2, but this time you are subtracting a negative number. So you move towards right. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 jumps towards right and you arrive at 6. So 2 minus minus 4 would be plus 6. So this is how you can perform subtraction of integers on number line. So in subtraction there is one very common logic which applies everywhere is that if you are subtracting a smaller number from a bigger number your result would be positive. So it is like you have a huge tree and from that huge tree from the big tree if you are removing a small branch or if you are removing a small bunch of leaves then what are you left with? You are still left with a big tree. So removing a smaller branch did not make a lot of difference. So the same thing is true here. If you have a bigger number, maybe you have a number 10 and you are subtracting 3 from it. So you are still left with plus 7. So the result is always positive. But in case of vice versa, that is if you are subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number, the result is always negative. That means if, if you are having 100 rupees with you and you have spent 200 rupees. So what is your balance? your balance would be minus 100 that means that minus 100 you would have borrowed from someone else because all you had was rupees 100 but you spent 200 so from where did you get that extra 100 so that you might have borrowed from someone so your balance is negative so whenever you subtract a smaller number from a bigger number the result is positive whenever you subtract a bigger number from a smaller number the result is negative Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.